up, what up, that's the number squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy, Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Mel. Welcome back to them squad. Hello. How are you guys doing? Hello. 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 We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, hey, we're having a rough day. Let's turn around right now with some good energy and some good content, all right? All so, right. my lovely wife, what we have today, babe? What okay, we got? today we'll be reacting to Oliver Anthony Speaks Out After Turning Down 8 Million Music Industry Offer. How much? 8 million. He took. Oliver. Is this real? Hold on now. Let's, I'm ready to get into this. I know the dollar ain't shit, but eight million? <laughs> Hold up. Wait a eight minute million. now. Wow. Oliver turns and he speaks out after turning this down. So they must have reached out to him. I mean, he had the, one of the biggest songs trending. He all has over it. It's media. still trending. It's the, it's the biggest song. Goodness gracious. But the turn down eight million? I have never been impacted. By any song as much as Oliver Anthony's Absolutely Richmond, North of Richmond. Let's see what he got to say. Seriously. Let's go ahead and see what he got to say. All right, guys, before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys be notified. We appreciate it. Here we go. Good energy, good content. Let's see what we got. Can't wait to hear this. What's going on? Oliver Anthony has become an overnight sensation with his song, Richmond, North of Richmond. Yes. And rightfully so, but through all of the headlines and the hype over this month, we have not really heard much from the man himself, nor really had a glimpse of who Oliver Anthony really is. And is he even Oliver Anthony? Well, no, he's not. What? what? He is still the same man that we hear and see in the Richmond, North of Richmond video. He is humble and as real as they get. I mean, hell, the man has turned down an $8 million music industry offer and has had several others. And today on Oliver Anthony Music's social media, the man, a part of it all, shared a powerful message behind all of the hype and glory so far, as well as formally introducing us to the real man behind Richmond, north of Richmond. His post read, It's been difficult as I browse through the 50,000 plus messages and emails that I've received in the last week. The stories that have been shared paint a brutally honest picture. Addiction, unemployment, anxiety, and depression, hopelessness, and the list goes on. I'm sitting in such a weird place in my life right now. I never wanted to be a full-time musician, much less sit at the top of the iTunes charts. Wow! Driven from Radio WV and I filmed these tunes on my land with the hope that it may hit 300,000 views. What? I still don't what? quite believe what has went on since we uploaded that. It's just strange to me. People in the music industry give me blank stares when I brush off $8 million offers. I don't Whoa. want six tour buses, 15 tractor trailers, and a jet. I don't want to play stadium shows. I don't want to be in the spotlight. I wrote the music I wrote because I was suffering with mental health and depression. These songs have connected with millions of people on such a deep level because yes. they're being sung by someone feeling the words in the very moment they were being sung. No editing, no agent, no bullshit. Just some idiot and his guitar. The style of music that we should have never gotten away from in the first place. Yes. Amen. So that being said, I have never taken the time to tell you who I actually am. Here's a formal introduction. My legal name is Christopher Anthony Lunsford. My wow. grandfather was Oliver Anthony. And Oliver Anthony Music is a dedication not only to him, but 1930s Appalachia, where he was born and raised. Woo! Dirt floors, seven kids, hard times. At this point, I'll gladly go by Oliver because everyone knows me as such. But my friends and family still call me Chris. You can decide for yourself. Either is fine. In 2010, I dropped out of high school at age 17. I have a GED from Spruce Pine, North Carolina. I worked multiple plant jobs in Western North Carolina. My last being at the paper mill in McDowell County. I worked third shift six days a week for $14.50 an hour in a living hell. In 2013, I had a bad fall at work and fractured my skull. It forced me to move back home to Virginia. 
due to complications from the injury, it took me six months or so before I could work again. Oh, from 2014 Lord. until just a few days ago, I've worked outside sales in the industrial manufacturing world. My job has taken me all over Virginia and into the Carolinas. Getting to know tens of thousands of other blue collar workers on job sites and in factories. I've spent all day, every day for the last 10 years hearing the same story. People are so damn tired of being neglected, divided, and manipulated. In 2019, yes! I paid $97,500 yes! for the property and still owe about $60,000 on it. I am living in a 27-foot camper with a tarp on the roof that I got off of Craigslist for $750. Woo! There's nothing special about me. I'm not a good musician. I'm not a very good person. I've spent the last five years struggling with mental health and using alcohol to drown it. I'm sad to see the world and the state that it's in, wow. with everyone fighting with each other. I've spent many nights feeling hopeless that the greatest country on earth is quickly fading away. That being said, I hate the way the internet has divided all of us. The internet is a parasite that infects the minds of humans and has their way with them. Hours wasted, goals forgotten, loved ones sitting in houses with each other, distracted all day by technology made by the hands of other poor souls in sweatshops in a foreign land. When is enough enough? When are we going to fight for what is right again? Millions have died protecting the liberties we have. Freedom of speech is such a precious gift. Mm. Never in world history has the world had the freedom it currently does. Don't let them take it away from you. Woo! Just like those once wandering in the desert, we have lost our way from God and have let false idols distract us and divide us. It's a damn shame. And it's as you can see here, shame. Chris also shared this photo right here with the post. That's as real as it gets, folks. And Whoa. there is no doubt that he is giving us real, wow. real country music. Y'all make sure to show some love and support to Oliver Anthony, or if you want to call him Chris, down below in the comments. Woo! But that will be all for today's video here on Country Cast. Oh my! I have chills. I can't. Oh this my god. This guy. Oh is my so god. So humble. Oh lord. <sighs> I gotta take my hat off to him. It doesn't get any realer than this guy. Because. For him to turn down eight million, and just a while ago he was only making fourteen fifty, working six days. Got his camera from shift. Craigslist for seven hundred bucks, living off the grid. It, this is this is this is he, he has so much integrity. Goodness gracious! And so much, he just real. His it's his roots. Like you can tell that he was his roots, his his family. Yes. He comes from people who are proud and real and hardworking and they don't want handouts. Like they, you know, they don't want this big life, this fake yes. lavish life. Like they are real human people. Six tall buses, you know, jets. He doesn't and, want any of that. He want the word out. He want the country to heal. I feel like Oliver Anthony, I feel like Oliver Anthony was like God sent yes. to the world. Like it's something about this song that hits me deep, deep, deep down inside of my soul. And it was almost like he was preaching to us. Goodness gracious. But when he said, it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. What the world has gotten to for people what the world has gotten to for people like me and people like you. Yes, absolutely. I felt that. That resonated with me. I felt that on a different level. It's like, I I feel the same way, Oliver. That's This is a humble guy. Oliver. The turn down 8 million? No, nah, you can have the 8 million, but get the message out. The message is, is worth way more than that. To it's the like, he's like, I'm not selling my soul. Yeah. And I'm going to let the people know what's going on. Absolutely. And then and, I'm going to show what oh, I'm living in, how I'm living. Oh, my let Lord. Let you know that I'm going through some things, some issues. I'm drinking, you know. Depression. I'm American. Mental health. He he cracked wow. his skull on his job and had to go back to his hometown. 
Goodness gracious. Everybody is only saying the dollar sign. Okay. This is a real working class American man. This is as real as it gets. He turned it down for a reason. Because that's not going to make who he is right now today. That eight million. Ooh. Man, I take my hat off to you, Oliver. Chris. And then he took his grandfather's name. And that's and, what you that's know, why I have to call him Oliver. Wow. Because of what that means. It means a lot to him. It's so much more than just him, what he represents. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I'm gonna call him Oliver. Oliver. Because man. it's deep in his roots. And his song is all over the all over the world. He didn't know the you impact. Know. Yeah, he didn't know. He said he, he thought it was going to get three hundred thousand views. And look at he's changing he the world. Maybe twenty million views he's, in a couple days. He's bringing people together. Look at this, all people. It's like he's preaching to the world. I mean, when I watch different reactions of Richmond, north of Richmond. Yes. Black people, white people, Hispanic people, Asian people. Yes. I mean, all American people. We all are getting this message and letting it, letting it soak in that this one guy is speaking out in less than like a three-minute song. I think the song was like three minutes, but he got so much. It's so much power in it. In that song, in those three minutes. Woo! We need it, Oliver. Yes. We needed you. We all need yes. you, Oliver. Yes. Keep doing what you are doing we are so just amazed and proud I don't, and I don't blame him man i don't blame him at first i thought about okay i'll go ahead and take the eight million but then i thought about no. it you know what no. your message is way more important they would, than if he million. took that money they would take away everything that he stands for exactly it's like you know erasing whatever he said and now, you know, putting out something else. This is his stuff. You know, it's it's not a, a a music company pushing him. He's pushing himself. He's independent. Man, this guy is great. Wow. That's the real deal. With this greatness. is real country music. Real country music. Re this is what it's supposed to sound it's authentic. like. I mean, a man, a, a man from the south crying out. Crying out. With his guitar, just him and his guitar. And that voice out there in nature. With the dogs out there with him, Every man's best friend, voice. and just crying out. It's like he's crying to the Lord, not only to the people, but he's crying out to the Lord on this he's song. Out. It's he's a damn out. shame. He's crying out. And I think that he got the power of God behind him. Most definitely. Because, you know, anyone that would accept that, okay, let me sign right here. He said, no, you know what? <laughs> no, thank you. Let me tell you. No, thank you. I have never been hit by a song like this in my life. This, the impact, it hit me so strong. It was like getting struck by lightning. And it's almost I mean, like, it hit everybody. Once you hear the song, it's like embedded in your head. It's like it, it, you can just keep hearing it over and over again, yes. over and over again in your head. Do you know? Woo. That's the impact that the song had on all of us. You know, wow, so big ups to Oliver. Anthony, man, keep doing your thing. God is behind you, and we all hear you. Prayers going out to you, Oliver. Anthony, I you, sit, you stay day. strong, brother. Yes, because yes, yes. you're going to need your strength. People are going to come after this man because of his power. And such a, now you know, that song old. came out, and it hit the world. So prayers There's going out to Oliver Picking Anthony. At the fact that he turned it down. Oh, Oliver, you can do a whole bunch of things. Man. Oh, they, do this, oh that, do that eight million is going to turn into fifty million. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. They're going to come for Oliver, but prayers going out to you, Oliver. Yep. Keep you on doing your thing. Keep being yourself, unapolog unapologetically. Yes. And just keep your strength in your faith. I know you will, uh, but. We all need to be praying for this hard, man. man. We need to pray for Oliver Anthony. Got a strong mind. Protect Oliver Anthony. Strong mind. And just we thank you, man. We thank you. Yes. We thank you. Absolutely. That's all the time, guys. Go ahead and smash that like button. Give this Woo! video a big fat thumbs up and also get inside the comment section. Thank you guys for sending this video over to us. Yes. Because um We didn't know that he turned down eight million dollars. Now I see why. 
know, so. the most realest thing I've ever heard in my life. It is. For someone that's living in a $700 camper. You know what I'm right. saying? Over top, over top of the, you know, um, over his home or whatever he's, he's living in. But praise go out to you guys. Um, we love you, Oliver. And keep on doing your thing, man. That's yes. our time. Thank it's you for blessing the world, man. Absolutely. Here's go. your boy, Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Bam. We love you guys. Have an amazing day on purpose. On purpose. Peace.